Hi everybody, this is Jim 81 Jim, and uh, I, I decided to do a video because I'm frankly blown away. I'm blown away by the fact that this even exists, that the internet has become so horrible that shit like this can continue to go on, that there's no idea of quality control anymore. It's completely gone out the window. A and I'm speechless. I'm blown away by this. When somebody told me this existed, I didn't believe them. I thought they were fucking shitting me. So I, I come to this website, and by God, it's real. And so I'm looking through, and I figured, it can't, this has to be like uh, some epic troll. I mean, <laughs> somebody's got to have a fucking lot of time and a twisted sense of humor. But nope, it's real. It's 100% legitimate. Now, as a disclaimer, if you don't know who Spax is, congratulations. Turn the video off. You are a winner, sir. Walk the hell away. But if you do know who he is, if you've had the misfortune of ever watching one of his gamer fans videos, prepare to have your mind blown the fuck away. To start with, here we are on the home page. This is the home page of Spax's Game Tune Zone. I love that title, Spax's Game Tune Zone. Like an autistic retard threw out four random words, he captured them and threw them onto a banner. No grammatical sense, no linking words. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's Spax's Game Tune Zone. Whatever, man. Congratulations. I didn't expect that you could spell. I'm going to just let it go. I'm, I'm going to let, you know, run with it. You've got so many problems, I'm going to let that one slip. But what I am blown away by, I mean, the first thing that greets you on this fucking webpage is this banner. Can you spot what doesn't belong in this banner? Really, take a second. I'm going to stay silent. Really take a look. Maybe the video quality is not so good. I'll post a link to it later. You can come and take a look. What doesn't belong? If you answered the man in the hooded sweatshirt with the fucking gun pointed at the head of Tom the Robot, congratulations. What the hell am I looking at? Why is there a guy with a gun next to Dexter, Tom, the Noid, and Mega Man? But look at this fucking banner. Uh, this blows me away more than anything. I mean, there's some shit on the site that's just, wow, it's out there, right? But this, this, is, this is fucking nuts. You've got Dexter, who's got a look on his face like he's trying to figure out, how the fuck did I even get in this banner? Tom can't even move. He's too goddamn scared. Tom's too even uh, too goddamn scared to even move. Because he's got Spax here with a fucking gun pointed to his head. you got the Noid, and you might be wondering, why does the Noid look like that? What's, what's going on? I'm a little confused. You can't see Spax's other hand there. What you don't know is he's got his finger straight up the Noid's ass. That's the look of somebody who's getting fingered straight up their ass. So you're going to have to forgive the Noid. He's a little distracted. Mega Man, yeah, he's got his blaster out. He's just trying to get the fuck off the page. He's trying to literally blow his way right off this banner to get away from the psychopath with that fucking gun. But that's Spex for you. Good old Spex. Love that name. So here we are, home page, welcome page. And we've got all these announcements, just a bunch of shit, up and down the page. But the site launched 9-1908. <clears throat> 9-1908. And 921, the announcement, right after, that's three days from the fucking opening of this place. Forum in sight, successful beginning. He's declared victory. He's been open three fucking days, and he's declared victory. I am a fucking victor. I mean, hell, it worked for George Bush, right? Should work for Spax. Let's throw up a fucking banner. What could go wrong? Oh, Jesus. Christ, the fucking mighty. So we're, we're looking through here. I, you know, it's just blah, 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 blah. There is, you know, one thing that really pisses me off. It's become a trend lately with a lot of different people. On the bottom of the page here, you have a donate button. Hey, donate a few dollars. Keep the site going, man. We need your help. I don't give a shit if you want to whore yourself for money. Knock yourself out. There's stupid fucking people all over the world. They'll give you money for doing the dumbest shit. If you can get money off some motherfucker sitting on the other end of a computer watching you do retarded shit, congratulations, you're a winner. You deserve your few dollars. What I can't fucking stand, what drives me absolutely fucking bonkers, is this dumb motherfucker puts his donate button goddamn half a page below. Hey, everybody, here's his announcement from, <laughs> okay, seriously, 10308. So we're talking a half a page up, a half a page up from his donate button, begging you for money so he can keep this shitty little fucking site going. He's got an announcement talking about all the shit he just bought. And here's his list of what he bought at e for all some... I don't know what the fuck E4ALL is. I'm going to guess it's got to do with video games or anime, because he's white and he's a virgin, and therefore anything he does has to revolve around those two fucking things. So here's a list of what he's bought. 
Transformers, Japanese PS2, Twinkle Star Sprites for the Dreamcast, Snatcher for the Sega Saturn, Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, another story for the Super Famicom. The Super Famicom. For God, you know, God forbid he just called it the Super Nintendo. No, that wouldn't be weeaboo enough. He's got to call it the fucking Famicom. This is a guy who probably pronounces Miyamoto very, very properly. Then we've got Guardian Heroes for the Japanese Sega Saturn, because hell, it's Japanese. Legend of Zelda, original Famicom, Famicom again. We've got an egg on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Donkey Konga 3. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not satisfied with just two Donkey Kongas. I need a third. I need a third right away, because using those plastic bongos, that just gets me fucking horny. Uh, Lunar for the Sega Saturn. Lunar 2 for the Sega Saturn. I guess he likes Lunar. And possibly a few more things I may be forgetting. You know, I've listed seven here, but my memory is horrible. If you ask me to count to ten, I might just piss myself and cry. What the fuck, man? You're making me a list. You're listing what you've bought. You're sitting down. You're looking at the shit. And you're putting down, I, you know, a few more things I possibly might have forgotten. Because I don't feel like looking three inches to my left and writing it down. And then he talks about buying a fucking Neo Geo. So here's all this shit he bought. I'm going to guess that's probably like three, four, five hundred dollars worth of shit. Half a page up from the donate button. So don't fool yourself into thinking that when you give this stupid motherfucker some money, it's going to the site. It's not. Guess what it's going to? It's going to Twinkle Star Sprites. It's going to the Neo Geo. He's not spending it on this site. I could make a goddamn site. I have a fucking site. I have a site I built in a week. Didn't cost any goddamn money. It's got a forum, it's got videos, it's got music. Because I'm a fag like that, and it doesn't take any effort. So don't be fooled by this bullshit, donate to me stuff. What the fuck? Are people this stupid? Why are you giving him money? Aw, oh, damn it! Alright, uh, I'm getting sidetracked. There's so much more here, and I don't want to waste it all on this. <laughs> here's, good. here's the last two. The last two entries blow my mind. I love this shit. 102108, Mega Man, abridged, now on the site, posted by Spax. Yes, he's got the abridged Mega Man series. The abridged Mega Man series. What do you fucking need to abridge? It's Mega Man. Dr. Light builds robot. Dr. Wily fucks shit up. Mega Man stops Dr. Wily. The end. There, asshole, I just abridged the whole series for you. It took me four seconds. But I'm sure you went into a nine goddamn video rant about shit relating to it and the, you know, subtleties and uh, layers of the Mega Man story. And, you know, probably how, I guess, I don't know, Dr. Light was molested as a kid, and that's why he built Mega Man. I'm sure you pulled shit out of your ass, the likes of which people have never seen before. The, is something so amazing you'd get put in the Guinness Book of World Records for it? But do you really need to make a 20-video series on... Mega Man, the abridged series? I bet your abridged series is longer than if I sat down to play the whole fucking series of Mega Man, you fat, psychotic shit. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Voice actor interview, now on the site. I'm at it. I'm going to read this verbatim because it's just too good not to. Uh, 11908, voice actor interview now on site, posted by Spax. I'm adding some new things to the site. Interviews with voice actors. The first one done with Michael Pollock. Most uh, everyone knows as the current voice actor of Dr. Eggman in the Sonic and the Hedgehog series. Most everyone knows him as the voice actor for Dr. Eggman. No. No, I'm sorry. Nobody knows who he is. Do you want to know why nobody knows who he is? Because he is the voice actor for Dr. Eggman. I could meet the guy who does the voice for Mario in the fucking supermarket, and unless he starts jumping up and down on mushrooms and talking about princesses, I'm not going to know who the fuck he is let alone the poor bastard whose job it is to voice Dr. fucking Eggman. There may be some stuttering in the video, he goes on to say, but that was the first interview I've done, so please excuse that. There may be some stuttering in the video. I know why there was some stuttering. We all know what your fetish is, Spax. You've got the biggest hard-on for Sonic that anybody in the universe has ever gotten. You were probably beating off in your underwear just to be in the presence of somebody any way you know, in any way, shape, or form associated with Sonic the Hedgehog. I bet you were beating off like there was no tomorrow. The smell in that room must have been fucking horrible. I'm sure poor Michael Pollock was probably kicking himself in the ass. Or, you know what, I bet you... <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I fucked up here. I'm assuming that you were in the room with Michael Pollock. What I'm betting happened is you were sitting in front of a television that was playing a tape 
of somebody interviewing Michael Pollack. And every once in a while, you'd pause the tape and then ask him a question that you think Michael Pollack might answer, and then hit play. Then you record the whole, th or you know, you record the whole thing, and the stuttering is you, you know, not editing it properly. You don't, you don't get it to line up. So that's the home page. This whole mind fuck right on the home page. And then you know, we go and we hit uh, staff. We're looking at staff. There's a staff involved with this. I, look at this. Yeah, I'm scrolling up and down. That's the whole staff, folks. Uh, it's just, wow? Really? WizWar100? What the fuck, Wiz? What are you doing on this site? <laughs> what? Oh, God, didn't Red Supre rape you enough? Now you're going to do this? Oh, Jesus. And then here we go, site staff, SPACs. And what is he? He's the site administrator and the MNE co-founder and CEO. Co-founder and CEO. For those of you who don't know what a CEO is, it's a chief executive officer. I doubt he fucking knows what a CEO is. But the guy, now, remember, the chief executive officer of MNE is the same guy you see in that banner in a hooded sweatshirt holding a gun up to a fucking cartoon character's head. Yeah, I know when I go in to talk to my stockbroker, I ask him, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, do you know any good companies with psychopaths who are obsessed with Sonic I could possibly invest in? What the hell, man? Uh, Julie Lala, PPG, Caitlin, Mulder Yuffie, and Zero Masterka are also, you know, they're site staff. They, you know, they're they're part of the MNE company. I don't know what MNE stands for. I love when people do acronyms and then they don't tell anybody what the acronym stands for. It's like a great little mind fuck. Okay, moving on. C N A S N Game Tune Reviews Adventures. Yeah, let's just God, he loves just throwing random words together. That must be fun. He's gotta have like a big old dictionary at home, he's just flipping through pages all fucking horny and hot, just picking random shit, throwing it up together, and then you know, voila, he's got something. So here we go. Here's his videos. Here's the treasure trove. Anybody who ever wanted to see a Spax video, right, before they got all pulled, before his mom sued everybody and got them taken down, they're up here. He actually put them up here. They're hosted on Reaver, but he actually embeds them here. So let's just start one up and take a great look at this. Rated, Rated T for teen. Oh, God. The fail already associated with this video has just gone through the roof. Game wow. Cartoon. So he took Cartoon Network's opening, chopped it, and put ASN. Again, let's not tell anybody what the acronym stands for, you know. And he failed at the acronym. How do you fuck an acronym up? You, you know, each letter is a representation of a word. And to be a representation of a word, you need to put a period after it, you stupid fucker. And I see A, period, S, period, N. Where the fuck is a period? God damn it, how can you be this stupid? How much inbreeding is necessary to make you this much of a retard? Cartoon Network ASN. You know what it should have been? It should have been Cartoon Network ASS. There, you know, there we go. Cartoon, you know, it's CNS. CNS. See, did you get it? CNS? I see an ass, and his name is Spax. CNN, oh god, I just, my, my mind is melting. I, my mind is melting. I, I get stupider now. I mean, no talk good no more. Hello, gamer fan. <laughs> wow, we have liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. This is Spax. Take a good look. This is a guy who has, this guy, this guy, we're looking at the picture of the man who's getting money. Right here. Yeah, drink it in. Oh, drink this shit in, folks. And welcome to Look at this. Look at that face. Oh, God. His cock must have cobwebs on it. But no woman's ever going to touch him. Look at him. Cartoon Network ASN. Look at his teeth. What? Look at right there. Right there in the middle. What is that? It's like one of his teeth is trying to escape. <laughs> He's trying to break free and get away from Spax. This is basically a bunch of segments I'm doing. God, he's, he looks like the guy you'd wake up from the, you know... Imagine you go to a nightclub, and suddenly you feel faint, and you pass out, and you wake up in the back of somebody's van. This is a face that greets you. This is what's looking over you. This is what makes you scream and start sweating and thinking, oh my god, oh my god, what's going to happen? Why is my ass sore, and why is there, why is there butter spread on my thighs? Going to review my opinion on the next-gen games. The next-gen games, gamer fans. I'm Specs, gamer fans. You know, it kind of sounds like he put, like, a Suzuki underneath that word. Like, you're just waiting for him to rev it up. Gamer fan. 
Alright. Oh, Jesus. Sweet fucking Jesus. What have we got here? Season 1, Episode 1. Episode 2, Episode 3. Episode 6, apparently 4 and 5 just weren't good enough. <laughs> He's got standards. Season 2. What the... What? Okay, this I never got either, and a lot of people do this. Season 1, Season 2. You make videos on the internet. That's what you do. Why is there a season one and a season two? You have no start and stop. There's no fiscal year for doing this. Yeah, I, you know, wh what the fuck is that about? You know, I like Spoony One doesn't do that, and he's way better than you are. But for some reason, you've got to have a season one and a season two? It's this whole idea of, can I whore this shit out on a DVD later? They all saw that James Ralphie could do it. Rolf, Rolfie, I don't fucking know, AVGN. They all saw that he could do it. Because you know, you know why he could do it, Spax? Because he's funny. Because people like him. Because people actually might buy a DVD from him. But just because you break your shit up into different seasons, nobody's going to buy this. I can't picture anybody running out to Walmart and saying, I've got to get me some Spax. Oh, uh, I am running out of time here, so I'm just going to start shooting through this. Oh, here's the Mega Man Abridged series. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 videos on this page. Oh, the is Michael Pollock interview. The poor bastard, probably had no idea what he was getting into. Fan submissions. Oh, please tell me that's a joke. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I, I gotta drop a line to Red Supreme. Look at this. Upper left hand corner. Unregistered hypercam too. God. It's like they all get together and just plan this shit out. Oh, that's a beautiful color scheme. There's nothing sexier in my mind than putting piss yellow right on top of puke green. That just that just I've got a massive erection from looking at that. That's some sexy stuff right there. Hello everyone, SP Fumi here. Scotty the Hedgehog. God, enjoy that. You're a fan of specs. Oh god. Contact section, forum section, oh, a forum section, 153 people, 153 people who are, all, you know, they were all probably touched by their parents. They all probably, you know, saw a clown kill somebody when they were five years old. I, I there, Something like that has to be in their background, because there's no conceivable reason why they would be on this site. What it, And what do you know? Everything is just... It's just, God, it's what you would think it was going to be. Rules, news and announcements, introduction, the same boring shit on every forum that ever existed. Retro, newer, classic, 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 game, cartoon, game, cartoon, game, other, off-topic. You know, how much do you want to bet if I spent the time and actually dug through this? I'd find a site, you know, I'd, I'd find a thread that basically said, Sucking Sonic's Cock, or something to that effect. Or there'd be a picture of a little, you know, a bunny rabbit from the cartoon series getting fucked in the ass by Spax. Folks, there's something wrong with the internet. It's It's been happening for a while now. I mean, we've always had fucked up stuff, right? People screwing donkeys, kids getting raped, people selling guns. Yeah, there. It's always, I mean, it's had its problems, right? We all know that. It's not perfect. There's some horrible shit out there. But this, this is, you know, this is within our control. We can stop this. This shouldn't exist. Why does this exist? Why is nobody destroying this? Isn't this what, you know, shit, isn't this the stuff that people want to destroy? How is, it, how is this even existing? We need, a pe we need a group of people who believe in quality control and can do something about it. I'm not talking about um, <sighs> trolls. I'm not talking about channers. I'm not talking about, you know... What happened to the Black Hatters? Do you remember those guys? The real hackers, the people who could really do shit, who could really affect change, you know, uh, you know, just a snap of their fingers and shit changed. What happened to them? They were the guys who would take care of this shit. They'd say, hey, that's funny, let me get rid of that, and it's gone. And nobody ever knew about it. Nobody ever knew what happened. But it was just gone. He was gone. It's gone from the Internet. Somebody make this go away. Please? Make it go away and then post a video response and make my day better. This is Jim81Jim. Preparing to stick a revolver in his mouth because he actually saw that this existed. <laughs>